We're just gonna be safe, right? Always, always be safe. All right, it is February um, 19th. I've been waiting to work on these irons. Ping I2, BQ, beryllium copper. Very rare uh, for reasons I'll explain later. I'm gonna be attempting something a little bit different with them than I've ever actually seen before, uh, which is really fun and exciting. There came a, a two iron with the set that is um, a little bit outside, so it's four through pitching wedge with a random two iron in there. And that's great for me because uh, I, I'm thinking about gaming this two iron and I'll, I'll probably end up having to sell the other uh, brilliant copper irons. I wanted to attempt it with the two iron first. Um, something I'm gonna be trying to do is uh, custom ferrules on ping I2s. That is a potential problem because of the rounded hosel, the bezel there. Something I'm gonna be trying to do is, uh, it's what some people would consider um, not the way to go about this. I'm going to be taking a very valuable two iron um, and I'm going to be shaving down the hosel. I got some beautiful custom ferrules made. I will put their description in the link if you are looking for something like that. Um, they did copper ferrules, so I will show you that um, when we get around to it. But basically, it has a very nice patina. I'm gonna be taking that off. Um, we're gonna be getting this down to the original copper, and I know that that seems like uh, a crime, but the good news is that um, you can add that patina back on later uh, quicker with doing some things and I don't even know if I want to do that because the copper that the ferrules are I want it to match and um, we're gonna need some clean copper but I think that it'll age well uh, and maybe give a more even patina because I do feel like if I go and hit some some golf balls uh, it's gonna it's gonna be wearing out the center uh, actually <laughs> let's be honest it's gonna be wearing out the toe because that's typically where I hit the golf ball um, even though I I'd like not to say that that is the truth uh, and so yeah but what we're gonna be needing to do is repainting uh, everything on these as well so just a little bit of background on beryllium copper um, and why they are so rare they were put into production and um, maybe only a couple years later taken out of production uh, it may have been five years five let's say five years probably at the most they were taken out of production due to um, the creation of these irons um, causing factory workers uh, some serious health problems the details of that I'm not sure I'm sure that you could look it up and Google would have a wonderful answer for why that is but I do know that um, we're gonna try to be as careful as possible when um, taking the patina off, when shaving the hosel down, when heating it. Um, safety is always the, the utmost concern. And uh, again, I don't know at what, I'm pretty sure it's when it's hot enough to actually be able to cast it. That's when the fumes are actually uh, out, but we are going to be heating it up quite a bit. So, um, we definitely want to make sure to be safe, but yeah, that's that's a bummer that um, uh, people were were having some side effects and uh, some pretty serious ones from um, working in factories where these were being produced. So, uh, all that being said, they had to take them off the market, of course, lawsuits and things, and and then uh, that means that there's. Uh, just a number of these around and the, the value just keeps going up. They're not extremely forgiving uh, Still you still have to have some skill um, And the square grooves uh, cut into the ball really nicely um, so nicely that the uh, the wedges were considered illegal at some point uh, or were at least on the edge of if they should be illegal or not for tournament play. Um, again, all of that information I think I'm grabbing from different parts of what I've read about uh, the, the Ping I2 history, but uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know and uh, I'll, I'll get that corrected. So let's get started. We are gonna try to do this one as quickly as possible. Um, 
because I've been doing this a lot lately. But uh, we uh, take a little bit slow between sets, so I'm trying to speed it up. So this is for my safety. Um, it might be overkill, but I'm already outside, so I'm sure that it's fine. But we're gonna we're just gonna be safe, right? Always, always be safe. We're gonna just uh, heat the hosel up, break up that epoxy bond, get the head off, and then uh, get the patina off and uh, the paint as well. got the shaft fully prepped well sorry not fully prepped but very close we got the grip off that's as good as we're gonna do for now um, amazing what some of these old golf clubs uh, I mean usually taking the grip off is just no big deal but that's a big mess and, and honestly without this tool um, I don't know if I would have been able to do that in as little time as I was able to. Um, I would say that was probably five minutes. Um, typically though, uh, it's it's very, very quick. Um, that This had uh, like some wraps on it. I've actually never seen whatever this is, um, but uh, it's almost like this very, very hard to get off duct tape that was like solidified on there. Um, and we'll clean that up a little bit more. Uh, and then as I was doing that, the epoxy actually worked its way out of the tip, which is great, because usually that's something that's another step. Um, so I'll just need to prep this area here. Just need to get that all prepped and uh, get all the epoxy off of that. But the shaft is completely cleared out, which is awesome. So it's ready. And then the head, hoping this is just the effect of the patina, but we're getting a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, sort of a, a purplish uh, effect from heating it. And uh, I'm hoping that comes off. So the next step is taking the patina off of the club head and then we're going to try to remove some of the paint from inside of these grooves and then we're gonna repaint this, this white's turned into yellow, so we want to fix that. I have some ping grips that um, are brand new, and I'm really excited. They're wraps, um, and uh, yeah. The next step is Coca-Cola. If this works, I will never drink this again. This is intense. <laughs> so um, basically what's going to happen is we're gonna let this soak in Coca-Cola over the next uh, little while. Probably 24 hours. All right, so the shaft is prepped. The Club head is soaking in the coke for 24 hours, so tomorrow morning I will check on it. And, um, and then I will dispose of the coke in a safe way because I'm pretty sure it could be toxic. I don't know though. There's a lot of mixed opinions. Um, either way, safer to do the uh, right thing, which is dispose of it properly. And uh, I think tomorrow we'll be able to build the club. Thank you.